Hey everybody, Tedek Wizard here, and today I have the Gateway E4200 with all of its same stuff, except it has the floppy drive from previous videos before I rebuilt it. The one that came out of the Compact Presario 5000 from Orange Beach. But apparently this floppy drive is dying because it has an issue on startup. Um, I use it a lot, and I use this one specifically because it has Windows XP, so I can make floppy disks from it from USB flash drives, mostly for the Compact Presario 2200, since it's got no USB bump. Anyways, I'm going to start it up and show you the problem, but before I do, I'm going to turn on my light so y'all can see the inside of the floppy drive when it does it. Okay. Other than this issue, the unit still runs perfectly fine. disc in the tray. But um, because of this issue, we are going to be swapping the floppy drive in it. I just got this CDI of the drive, Crayola camera, color software. Um, I don't really use it because I don't have the camera anymore because a few friends of mine, I mean, we smashed it at a party. So I'm um, going we'll to go ahead and get this all unhooked and we'll start work. Okay, guys, here we have the E4200. I'm gonna go ahead and unbutton the back of it. And y'all can see the fancy innards. Although y'all have probably already seen them like a zillion times. Ugh. Hate to do it, but you know what? Better running than dead. Well, it still has the original floppy drive cable from Wheels in the Junkyard. It surprisingly still works. Um to undo this side of it too so I can get access to the other floppy drive screws okay take these screws out so we have to take the plastic and the metal cover off to get access to it now um this next part over here is very simple. There you see your screws. Uh, I think you can see them anyways. I don't see any lights anywhere, so I can't do that. But, um, and there are your screws. Tilted over the lights, so um, there you go, you can see them. You're going to want to take those screws out, so I'm going to pause here and take the screws out. Okay, I didn't unscrew it on camera because it was kind of hard to hold the screwdriver and the camera at once. So we're going to go ahead and push out this old floppy drive. This was in it when I first rebuilt it. It's a, you can see, a compact floppy drive. Um, if I can find the brand. Z1D Citizen TV, whatever it is. I don't know. I just like the noises that it makes. I guess it's well built. And speaking of which, the new floppy drive we're putting in is from another compact, which is pretty funny. This is the, it's a Mitsubishi floppy drive from the compact Presario 5441. And here it is. It's a Mitsubishi. Okay guys, I have the new floppy drive all buttoned up. Even though I don't really like it in here because it doesn't match the case. It's going to stay in here until I can find a better one. So, yeah. Got it all hooked up. Let's go ahead and button this baby back up.
Well guys, guess this thing's working. So, like, comment, and subscribe for more. Good night, YouTube.